Hi guys, it's Happy Halloween. It is Kayla with Kayla Z S G Journey. I'm coming to you today at my one year surge anniversary. I had surgery one year ago today on Halloween. Um, I'm still 160 something, 162, 163, 164, 160. I bounce up and down every day. Um, I have my appointment, my one year follow up with my surgeon in two days. Um, I've tried making a few videos, but my computer wouldn't upload them and then I wasn't gonna remake them. Uh, with life being what it is, it's hard. So let's start at the very beginning. I started my journey in April of 2016 um, and my highest weight ever was 243 pounds. Um, my highest weight at that doctor's office on that visit was 229.0 pounds. Um, on that day, I tried, decided to change my life and I was going to um, start from that day forward. So I did. Um, I had a surgery on um, Halloween last year, so a year ago today. And um, I had a four week pre-op liquid diet. So I had four weeks of liquids before surgery and it was down to 198.8 pounds. Um, then I um, now I'm down to about one, about 161 is about where I hang out. I've been here for a long time. Um, I'm gonna get real um, and I might cry. Sorry, um, for the first six months, all you're doing is eating, sleeping, and, and drinking water. Um, that's pretty much all you're doing. Um, the weight, you will have stalls. It comes off. Um, your stalls are going to take you to your knees and they're going to make you feel not your best. Um, I have been at this weight for over four months now. Um, there are days where I'm okay with it. I thought by a year I'd be closer to my goal of 150 pounds. A lot of people will say that it's only about 10 to 14 pounds depending on the day. It is. My body doesn't want to move from this weight. Um, I am proud of where I am. I love where I am. I love who I am. But it still is hard. Because if you would have I am sorry, it's a mental mind game. You would ask asked yourself before surgery, if you would be happy at 160 pounds, you would say, heck yes. Then you have surgery and you kind of think, I didn't have surgery just to lose a few pounds, but I did. I had surgery to get healthy. And I am healthy. Life is hard, guys. <laughs> Honestly, I shouldn't have started school when I did. I'm still not emotionally there. Um, but I did start school. I did add more chaos to my life. Um... After about six or seven months, you can eat more. Um, even when you are eating the right things, you can eat more, um, which is awesome. I still mourn sometimes not being able to eat. It's so sad, I know. There are days I told my husband I didn't even want to go to Thanksgiving dinner with his family because 
it's hard eating with people. Um, because I have an addiction to food and I watch everybody eat like crazy people and I miss that sometimes. I miss food. So then you go off the bandwagon and you do things that aren't smart, that aren't what you know you should do. And then you beat yourself up. Um, tear yourself down. You can't understand why you do that to yourself, but you do. Because the food addiction is still there. My addiction to eating when I'm happy and eating when I'm sad and eating when I'm crazy is still there. I want to. I can't do it as much, but I can still eat. I think the hardest part with food addiction is you still have to eat. Unlike other addictions, I could cut some things out of my life for those. I don't have to have that to live. <laughs> so, even being on the bandwagon, even doing everything my doctor has said or my nutritionist has said, I'm still this weight. My original goal was 150 pounds. And I was losing weight so quickly and so wonderfully that I had a pie in the sky goal of 141 so I could be in a normal BMI. And I thought there's no possible way I could not get there. I don't know if I'll ever get to my 150 pound goal. So then I'm so sorry guys, I am not meaning to cry. Then, if you make videos, or even if you don't, you just watch videos. You watch all these other people who are heavier than you. Get lower than you. And you're so excited for them. But inside, you can feel you're like you're a failure. Or why can they and not me? So I'm just telling you that you can be proud of where you are and be so content with you're working on but at the same time feel devastated about it there are days when I just want to quit and give up and not and not care anymore um, but then I realize that that's not who I am at this point, what my, my nutritionist is saying, the only way, most likely, that I will start losing weight again is by a lot of exercise, not just a little bit here and there and walking and things like that. I need to <sighs> then... I'm a mom of three kids. I'm a wife. I'm going to school. I have a job. <sighs> adding more onto my plate sometimes is just adding more. I'm only one person. I can't do everything. <sighs> my kids are 13. 11 and 9 
And so all that I'm doing is shoveling them around from thing to thing, place to place. My life is wonderful. So why am I not happy? And I will admit, I'm mostly happy all the time. But, like today, I don't feel like a success and I don't feel like I'm doing good. And I don't feel like I have any control over my destiny. Because last week I ate like crap because it was my period. And I didn't gain one pound. But then every other week I eat perfect. Nothing. So what's the point? If I'm going to stay 160 pounds, I might as well just eat. And I know logically I shouldn't feel that way. But I do. So. This wasn't a happy update. Um. I am very emotional. I had a great Halloween at work. See, I'm a little kitty. There's my messy table, sorry. I love my life. I just um, think I expect too much of myself. And I hope everybody's having a good time and they're doing well. And I hope that life is going good for them and that things work for them and that they can be happy. I'm sorry I'm not there for people. I really am. Because I can't watch your videos and watch you succeed and then feel like I'm a failure. I can't do that. And... <laughs> I can't. Um, 